is there anything you cannot do after a cervical disc replacement? Yeah, so um, it's a good question. I mean, really, with both technologies, um, eventually you're able to get back to pretty much anything you want. Um, in the short term, you will notice a couple differences. Um, for two or three level fusion, most surgeons will place a patient in a cervical collar, which is a hard plastic device that's meant to hold your neck stable. You can take it off for simple things like eating and for hygiene, but in general, you're kind of locked up in a, in a, uh, a collar. And it's not a big deal, but it is a bit of an inconvenience. And the point of that is to really provide some extra external stability while internally the bones are starting to heal and uh, fuse together. The opposite is really true with an arthroplasty or the disc replacement. We want you to maintain motion and we want you to not put down, lay down abnormal bone growth. We want um, things to continue to move. And so you certainly would not be in a collar for that. We just put you in a soft dressing and we want you to, to move and do, do things. Um, in terms of, you know, frequently people ask, when can I get back to work? It's obviously related to the, you know, how strenuous the job is. If you work from home, which a lot of people do right now, or if you have a more um, desk-based job, really after the first couple of weeks you could get back. Um, you just have to be on pain medications and have the soft tissue heals, which takes about two or three weeks. Um, for more strenuous activities with the arthroplasty, you know, Unlike with the fusion where you're waiting for a fusion, arthroplasty, it's essentially as strong as it'll ever be right away. There is some bony ingrowth, but it's quite stable right away. And so you can advance pretty quickly to doing more um, strenuous activities and exercise, even by that first post-operative visit at four to six weeks. Maybe for the most high-end athletic activities, you may have to wait a little bit longer uh, on the order of maybe two months. And some of that just depends on what activity you want to get back to. Uh, for the fusion, after you come out of the cervical collar, um, you're able to start doing more activities. But in terms of strenuous activities, we really would want to wait for fusion to occur because that construct isn't strong enough to uh, do what you need to do with it until the bones are fused together in terms of higher, higher level activities. And so usually you have to wait longer on the order of months, you know, three months plus, depending on kind of what activities you want to do. But ultimately, you should be able to get back to high level athletics, military duty, et cetera, some of the highest levels of activity, um, really with both technologies, but probably faster with the arthroplasty option.